Every relationship has ups and downs, and of course, sometimes you might feel like you're facing a wall. And one of you might have a bright idea to take a huge time off from your relationship, and here's why we don't recommend it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about a huge time off. This is when both parties, both people, live differently or decide to be in different places to take time off from each other and cool off is what you say you know when there's like a huge disagreement or huge fight then usually a lot of couples that we see do this they Mm -hmm. set up shop somewhere else (laughs) (laughs) and uh, here's why we don't recommend it you know and we're gonna also uncover the men and women's perspective as on to why why this happens why we think the way we think and is it really good or is it is it bad it's no secret that so many couples when they do face some problems in their relationships and when it's getting uh, maybe too often or too complicated uh, they think that solution to this might be uh yeah taking a time off from each other and uh, living a little bit uh, separate uh, lives for me as a man like uh, the biggest problem with this idea is that once we start living separately uh, and if it uh, gets um, to a very long period it's not just like you know a couple of days but people are doing it uh, weeks or maybe even months right i just think that the problem with this is that you basically start getting comf- comfortable with the single life. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, you actually lose emotions. Yeah. You lose connection. Um, not only that, you might already hang out with uh, some of the like uh, single friends. You might go to places like maybe bars uh, or, or like, you know, places where you can probably meet new people you might actually do some uh, some stupid things which were not part of uh, original problem. Yeah. So now, not only uh, you have all this baggage from the past, but you have already additional yeah. new problems, mm-hmm. right? So I think at the end of it, actually, uh, you might never even get back. Or even if you do get back with each other, with all of these new experiences, uh, it will not be the same. Yeah. And then eventually you're going to want to kind of break up. Gotcha. Uh, you know, so yeah. I, so I think, the, yeah, again, the biggest problem with this is when you do disconnect, you really disconnect. I completely agree with your assessment, but I have a question. It's like, I need to understand the men's perspective into this situation. Because mm-hmm. men and women have different perspective when, when it comes to time off or living separately to cool off, right? Because okay. as a woman, I feel like majority have, have a weird sense of understanding of how the, the consequences of this, right? Mm-hmm. For a women's perspective, they really believe that with time off and with living separately, we are teaching you guys uh, how to appreciate us more because of our absence. Mm-hmm. That's exactly our thought process. So I'm gonna, we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna cool off. We're gonna take time off because I want you to learn what it feels like to not have me around. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I do not agree with this idea. Where did this come from? Who came up with this? You know, you're not teaching anybody anything, girls. The only thing you're teaching men is life without you. And life without you looks like it's doing well for the men. (laughs) Right? So I feel like this perspective in a woman's head that um, we are teaching somebody something. You're not teaching anybody anything. He's a grown man. He has his own ideas. He has his own ways. And for us to be so naive to think that the heart grows fonder. If we live separately, no, you're actually causing your relationship's demise. So that's the woman's perspective. It's like we're teaching you something. It's a lesson. You know, we are a catch. And that like when we're living separately, you would feel like then the the want for us. You're going to miss us so bad. that You're just going to come crawling with your noble seed and like ask us to 
let down our hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's interesting uh, thought. I guess majority of women uh, uh, think like that, which might work uh, if uh, the man is really desperate, if he really has no options at all. Mm. But when talking about this uh, subject, uh, let's just assume that like you know people are more or less equal. I mean, and and men and women are kind of like. Uh, in the same caliber, mm -hmm. <laughs> so to say. Uh, so yeah, I think that's a wrong perspective uh, for women to think because uh, with the time off, I guess majority of men do not uh, feel like they're missing, but they're <laughs> like, you know, their vibe is like, Viva Las Vegas, <laughs> you know? Oh, really? That's, that's <laughs> yeah. how it is? They're like, probably we'll have a good time, <laughs> you know, so with, all the, with all the annoyance of women. <laughs> yeah, so probably yeah. they're going to hang out with their friends, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, and... Uh, so you're not going to be sad. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, we will be sad a little bit, but it's not all like, you know, we're, we're sitting home and just crying every day <laughs> and then we're desperate and, you know. Yeah. So I guess it's going to be a little bit mixed. In the beginning, it might, uh, the feeling might be more overpowering. But that's what I'm saying. If it's a couple of days or something like this, it's one thing. But when people are, are going separate ways for weeks or months, right? So, of course, you know, the feelings, they die down yeah. with time, right? So after a couple of weeks or, or a month... Uh, like those men, uh, they will be having some sort of fun. Maybe even women will also have some sort of fun, yeah. right? And then, yeah, the, the worst thing which might happen is, is when they cross the line while they're having a time off. Yeah. Because they might both might think that, hey, right now I'm kind of like single. Mm. You know what I mean? So there is nothing wrong with me while we're having a time off, like maybe even going on a, on a date. Yeah. I'm just going to talk, you know, I'm, I'm not going to do anything. But, you know, one thing uh, leads to another. And, uh, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? So, problem, you just basically build more problems. Because humans are very, very adaptable with situations. Mm -hmm. I feel like the longer you go without your partner, the more adaptable you are with loneliness, with singleness. You know, you even convince your mind that you're better off without mm. your partner, without your husband, you know, because you do feel alone and it sucks when you, you have somebody at the back of your mind, but, but in reality, they're not there for you. So you're just like, what's the point? What's the point of all of this? You know, and I feel like this is why people fall out of love. And this is where mm -hmm. the falling out of love um, is derived from is yeah. is when people take time offs all right and and i'm not just talking about physically also mentally shutting off right like yeah you are in the same place but you guys don't talk to each other for a very long time right mm -hmm. there's no bonding like literally you 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 act like your roommates of course you're gonna fall out of love with somebody i do believe that you need to set yourself aside and compose for a little amount of time before you 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 know speak to your partner about certain things that you disagree on I, I i get that right that's not the issue the issue here is really treating each other like strangers for a very long time and really this causes a sense of resentment a sense of um, indifference and when a person is indifferent towards somebody no matter who that is, mother, partner, siblings, when you feel indifferent, like when you look at somebody and you don't feel any type of emotion, mm -hmm. that's a dead end, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, a, that's already a KO. That's, that's it. The end. All right. Mm -hmm. um, but if you still feel that a little anger, a little frustration, a little happiness, then there's still something there. You know, but yeah, yeah. Uh, it just creates indifferent people when it comes to living separately or having this huge time off. So there you go, guys. Uh, we don't believe in, uh, uh, you know, long term uh, times off. Uh, we think this is a very bad idea. So if uh, uh, if your partner is telling you that, hey, <clears throat> let's solve our issue by actually having a time off. Uh, I, I think you gotta stop, okay? You gotta stop, you gotta talk about it, you gotta give all the logical reasons why this is not a good idea, mm, okay? <clears throat> or even if you have that idea, <laughs> we also, we don't recommend it. Uh, uh, 
because again, like uh, what can happen is all those things we just uh, discussed with you. So the solution is how we're dealing with it is, yeah, when we do have some problems, right? When we do have some uh, uh, arguments, the very heat of the moment, uh, right? The most emotional part, that's the time when we give each other uh, space. We just cool off individually, uh, but normally it takes uh, several hours. Um, I don't know, it might take like maybe entire day, but then it's pretty much it. Uh, we have to do those steps to, to, to talk it's again, so to, to reconnect, right? And yeah, I mean, at times it might not work out right away. Well, again, maybe it take a little, a little step back and, and then again, engage, all right? So yeah, it's, it's all about basically some hours or, or a day or so. Effort, not, buddy. Yeah, so you gotta, you gotta, at the end of the day, I mean, there is no competition here, right? Uh, you guys are here for, uh, for long term. For if, long. You're, if you're serious about each other, then there is no need to basically play games. In terms of realities of um, the consequences of time off, we also need to probably for women, understand men and women that when you're going this route whatever it is that you think that um, will happen it's not gonna happen all right this mm -hmm. is just fantasy delusions right a whole oh they're gonna miss me situation oh they're gonna learn mm -hmm. how valuable i am in their life please let's let's stop acting like children this is not happening all right this will never happen <laughs> The, the bottom line is everything that we're thinking about in terms of space and, and like uh, disconnection, guess what? Disconnection will happen. You will fall out of love. You're not teaching anybody anything. You guys are grown people. You're not teaching anybody anything, you know? In, in fact, you are actually enabling this huge amount of time apart and that's when your, your love falls out, you know? And everything falls apart. So having, again, having this uh, mindset, please let us rethink this and not use this in the future because it just doesn't work. One more thing I want to add is if your partner is pushing this agenda about time off, supposedly to fix the relationship, right? Uh, I think what you should do is to sit down and to talk about it seriously and to give all the reasons why mm, this is not a good idea and to bring even the ultimatum yeah. that if your partner is deciding to take a time off that this is a one-way ticket there is no coming back so either you guys are resolving it in a mature way right without this separation uh, or if the partner still want to push through and uh, uh, if she's taking the, the bag the suitcases and she's leaving then, yeah, you got to be honest. You, you got to say that uh, there is no coming back from that. People who really um, treasure relationship will not, jeopardize the, it. will not jeopardize it, right? They will rethink seriously. And those people who are leaving, well, probably that's also a good signal for you. Wow, that that partner of yours is actually... Checked out. Yeah, it's checked out. Yeah, there is nothing to fight for there. All right, guys. So, yeah, this has been it uh, for today's topic. It's also pretty interesting to me. Mm -hmm. Let us know about your experience with the time off. Uh, uh, did you have it in your life? Are you the one who who asked for time off or did your part partner uh, ask for uh, time off? Yeah. And the most important, tell us how did that play out. Stay tuned <laughs> for uh, more videos or maybe not. Hit the subscribe button and watch all our other videos, her existing videos, or maybe not. It's up to you. It's your choice. You decide. Peace and mm. love. Can I have a day off? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should have a day off, honey.